Today we are going to talk about the taxation of a permanent establishment in a national and international context. Imagine you are the manager of a corporation and want to physically expand your business. In general, you have two options, you can either set up a subsidiary or a permanent establishment. In this video we are going to look at the implications if you choose to set up a permanent establishment. A permanent establishment is a fixed place of business where substantial business activities are carried out, either domestically or abroad. This could be a new sales stand or manufacturing facility. A permanent establishment is legally dependent on the head unit, and not a separate legal entity. This means, contractual relations between the permanent establishment, and the head unit are not possible. A permanent establishment can be financed by debt or equity. Since it is not considered a separate legal entity, financing contracts with the head unit are not possible. Instead, the head unit allocates debt and equity capital to the permanent establishment in order to finance its business. You may wonder how the permanent establishment will be taxed. As the permanent establishment is not a separate legal entity, it is not subject to any tax liability. Instead, its profits are allocated to the head unit, which pays the tax. This is similar to the taxation of a partnership if it is treated transparently for taxation purposes. First, let's consider the case of a domestic permanent establishment. The head unit of the domestic permanent establishment is subject to an unlimited tax liability in its residence country on its worldwide income, which includes the profits of the domestic permanent establishment. If the permanent establishment is located abroad, in addition to the unlimited tax liability on the worldwide income, the head unit is subject to a limited tax liability on the foreign profits earned by the permanent establishment in the source country. Looking at the tax liabilities collectively, international double taxation arises. To eliminate this, the residence country can apply the credit or exemption method, which are explained in separate videos. To summarize, a permanent establishment is a dependent part of the head unit. Thus, its profits are directly allocated to the head unit, which pays the taxes. Even though the profits of the permanent establishment are taxed, the permanent establishment itself is not subject to any tax liability. Besides setting up a permanent establishment you could also choose to set up a subsidiary. The tax implications of establishing a subsidiary are discussed in a separate video.